Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question, should you delete comments on your Facebook ads? This is something I've been asked a number of times, often by clients as well as, you know, comments in YouTube videos and things like that. And where people are asking the question, there must be many, many more that want to know the answer. So I'm going to quickly cover that in this video, when you should and shouldn't delete them, how you should deal with comments on your Facebook ads and all that sort of stuff. Before I get into that, I just want to very quickly ask you to smash that like button and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and haven't done so already. Okay, so first thing to sort of... Um, to, to put your mind at ease with, perhaps, is to say that you are going to get negative comments. No matter what you advertise, you are going to get negative comments. We um, advertise a number of charities. You think what could possibly be controversial or lead to negative comments about, you know, what it is they're just trying to do good and all that sort of stuff, and they still get negative comments. So negative comments are certainly just a feature. It's Facebook obviously want all ads to be interactive and people can can get involved and I completely understand why and I think on the whole that's positive, but negative comments are inevitable. It's not a sign that you're doing anything wrong. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, of course, if half of all your comments are negative, well, yeah, there's probably something wrong going on there. You're not got the right product market fit. People don't like what you're advertising, all that sort of stuff. Um, but some negative comments are, are, are inevitable. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, you should never delete a comment. You should never delete a negative comment. Instead, you should just respond to it. You should answer it as, you know, as the business and address any concerns they have. And I think it really depends what that negative comment is and how constructive it is versus, you know, if it's just being negative for the sake of being negative. I mean, we've seen comments where, you know, we could be advertising, let's say, a free webinar, a video training. And you have comments from people that might say, um, haven't watched it, but it sounds like a load of rubbish. And you think, there's nothing there. There's no redeeming feature there. If a comment's like that, just get rid of it. Just delete it. There's no need for that to be on there. Um, it's just someone who's obviously angry at the world and they've chosen to lash out on, on your Facebook ad who says, says stuff like that. If it's a negative comment that you can answer and turn it into a positive. So let's say, for example... Um, you know, you could have someone, perhaps they leave a negative comment, but they're mistaken about something. So they say things like, oh, I really thought I ordered your product and I really thought it would come with this other thing. And it actually does come with that other thing, but that person just hasn't realized or something went wrong with the postage, something like that. Well, you can then answer that comment in a really positive way. You can say like, oh, I'm sorry that that doesn't seem to have been delivered. Um, You know, whenever, whenever someone buys this product, they do get refillable cartridges or what you know whatever it happens to be automatically um we'll make sure we get some shipped out to you asap and then when other people other prospects read those comments they'll be like oh great it does come with whatever um and they clearly do take care of their customers because this person is is being taken care of in the comments and stuff like that so if it's a negative comment that you can that, that has a response often when prospects are mistaken or customers are mistaken that certainly happens um, you know, sometimes someone could say, um, well, you, you might see a comment along the lines of, oh, this option's too expensive. Now, you could just delete that if you wanted to. And someone says, this option's too expensive, you could get a cheap alternative, and they give maybe an example. You could just delete that comment if you want to, and that wouldn't be a problem. But you could also address it, and you could say, yes, our product is more expensive than some of the competitors. However, it has all these additional features, which we believe makes it much more valuable. We've got loads of testimonials from people that say it's superior. That then, when other prospects are reading the comments, because people will do that to work out if they want to buy something or, or interact with the ad, they read the comments, they go, oh, okay, fair enough. I was wondering why I wouldn't just go with the cheaper one. And that comment actually just addresses why your product is more expensive, but it's better quality. It's handmade, it's whatever, you know, all that sort of stuff. So if you can address it in a positive way, by all means, go ahead and, and respond to it and answer it. I think that's a great thing to do. If it's just negative, for the sake of being negative, Get rid of it. Get it gone. Now, a lot of people are worried that if you're deleting comments, that's going on your Facebook ads, of course, um, that's going to negatively impact how Facebook sort of delivers your ads. Perhaps they'll, perhaps they'll limit your reach. Perhaps they're, you know, it'll mess up the algorithm and things like that. We haven't seen that. If you are deleting, as I said before, half of all comments because they're really negative or, or more than that, that can have a negative impact. We believe there's, I haven't seen sort of official documentation to confirm this, but I think that has negative impact. And that kind of makes sense, right? Facebook only wants advertisers that are going to advertise things that their users um, either want or are indifferent to. They don't want their advertisers to annoy their users because 
then Facebook and Instagram users may stop using the platform or use it less. Um, so if someone if someone's advertising something that's getting their users angry or they don't want to see, Facebook's going to step in and intervene. And I think if you're deleting tons and tons of comments and basically not wanting to to allow people to have their say about what it is that you're advertising, Facebook's not going to like that. But if you're deleting a few comments here and there uh, from people that are just negative for the sake of being negative, just seems to be a uh, a fact of life when it comes to any form of of online advertising, anything like that, then that's that won't have an impact at all. We do it all the time. That's absolutely fine. Now, that's obviously the negative comments, right? Hopefully, people will also be leaving positive comments. And if they do, that is absolutely fantastic. It can really, really help your advertising efforts. You know, if you run identical ads, right? One ad's just brand new and fresh, and the other ad's completely the same, advertised to the same audience, all that sort of stuff. But the second ad has got lots of comments from previous customers, of people going, oh, I bought this, it's fantastic, um, really love this company, all those sorts of positive things that you see. That is absolutely brilliant. And where possible, you want to engage with that. It's only beneficial to engage. Engaging helps show, well, it helps increase the comment count on your ad, which is going to help with the, uh, with the delivery methods and Facebook. Effectively, that if you have what used to be referred to as relevant scores, but now broken up in different sections, if you have high engagement quality ranking, that's going to help um, convince Facebook to put your ad in front of more people. So it certainly doesn't hurt to get lots of comments and activity going in the comment section of a Facebook ad. And yeah, so if people leave positive stuff, like thank them for it, get involved. If they ask questions, answer them. Shows again that you're a company that's attentive to your customers' needs, you've got good customer service, and that you're there for them and, and going to help them out. And that's only going to help when other people see, see your ads. Remember, when you're interacting with comments and when you're answering comments and when you're receiving comments, it's not really for that person. It's not really what you're doing it for. I mean, of course, you want to help them out, but it's the... 1,000 people that may see that particular comment over the next week or so, that's the real benefit of doing so. Now, of course, this isn't always possible, right? And if you're advertising and spending big budgets and getting your ads in front of millions of people and you've got thousands of comments, it's, you're not going to be able to interact and, and, and answer them all. It's just, unless you have people, you know, full-time dedicated to doing that, it's just not possible, not really realistic. And that's also fine. So don't feel an onus to that you have to respond to all comments. But if you are able to engage people in the comments and answer some stuff, questions and, and thank people when they leave positive feedback, that is only um, that is only beneficial. That That is only going to help your Facebook advertising efforts. Um, I'm just having a quick look at my notes to make sure I've got any other points. Yeah, that's 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 basically um, the, 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 the gist of it. So just sort of quickly summarise... People are going to leave comments, which is great in the whole. Some of them are going to be negative. Nothing you can do about that. It's not um, an indictment on your advertising. Delete the just negative, negative ones. Nothing you can do about that. There's just negative people. If you can provide sort of constructive feedback and turn a potential negative into positive with a comment, absolutely do so. Otherwise, engage in the comment section where people do leave positive stuff. Um, make sure you answer questions and things like that, provided you you know, you know have the, the capacity to be able to do so and go through those comments. And um, yeah, that's basically just a short video just to quickly cover how I would deal with with comments, particularly those negative ones that people, you know, we talk to a lot of clients and they particularly don't like those, which I understand. But um, it's just a, a part of advertising online. You just got to learn to deal with it and move on and, and don't worry about it, basically. OK, hopefully that's been useful for you. Go a couple of things I, I want to quickly uh, mention, a couple of free things. First free thing is a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to double or more your revenue. And in this webinar, I break down three different Facebook advertising sales funnels that we use for our clients all the time, very much tried and tested, generated millions of dollars with them. And I break those down and show you them in detail, show you exactly how they work. And I also show you how you should tailor your Facebook advertising approach to your specific type of business, right? So you need a different sales funnel if you're an e-commerce business to a high-end service provider. And I go through all those and explain all that. So I think it's very, very much worth your time to watch this. Completely free, 60, 70 minutes long. I think you'd be very glad that you that you did go through it. If you do, link is in the video description. I'd go ahead and, and watch that watch that webinar. Um, I said, I think it'd be very beneficial. Other free thing I want to mention is my Facebook Ads Mastermind Group. 62,000 Facebook advertisers just like yourself trying to get better results with Facebook ads. I do free live trainings in the group, completely free to join the group. Links in the video description. Go ahead and join. That'd be uh, much appreciated. And I think you get a lot, a lot, out, a lot out of it as well. Um, 
Please comment below if this was useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And of course, smash that like button. That helps me out. Best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye-bye.